That is on the inside of the front row. It's NASCAR overtime. Overtime in Atlanta for the fifth time. And it looked like Gilliland did spin his tires on that restart, just as you guys discussed. Eckes and Infinger side by side for second. It's going to be Infinger grabbing the spot. But they're all chasing Austin Hill. Infinger's got speed, though, Vince. He's going to be on him. Grant Infinger in that 98 truck won the season opener at Daytona. Oh, Hill got a little bit loose down there on the line, and Infinger nudges ahead, but they're side by side. The white flag is out. What a move by Infinger, but here comes Hill back on the bottom. Can he crowd up and get that spot back? Christian Eckes is right there, and can he make a move? Grant with that outside line has the momentum. Happens every time. Infinger in front of Austin Hill. Oh, what a heartbreaker for Hill after being in command of this race. And now Infinger trying to hold on. Can Hill make one more run? Ford has never won at Atlanta until today. Grant Infinger wins. Wow. What a move. Good job. Hoss. We talked about that long run speed versus short run. Grant had exactly yep. what he needed for overtime. Absolutely. Boy, what a heartbreaker, though, for Austin Hill, Scott Zipadelli, and the whole crew to, to have a truck that strong, put it up front, have it in the bag, and end up losing it in a greenway checker. That's that's heartbreaking. Woo! The thrill of victory. Nothing quite like it in NASCAR. Thumbs up for his crew sitting there on pit road. Grant Infinger, you're here with the checkered flag. As the laps are ticking down, you were fourth. What is going through your head when the caution comes out? Man, um, first of all, Chris Lambert said it perfect over the radio. This race was one at the shop. Um, we didn't have the best truck on the long run, but uh, we had the best truck on the short run, I feel like. Um, the good Lord was looking out for us. It's just a, a special weekend. I want to say uh, congratulations to my grandparents and uh, Fitz College uh, celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary. Sorry we couldn't be there, um, but thank you to everybody that made that special. And, uh, man, this one's for them. Um, just an incredible, incredible uh, turn of events right there in the restart, able to, to nail the gears right there. Um, someone that we've been intermittent with, but uh, we had the drive built into the truck. Uh, we had the short run speed, and that's what it came down to at the end. Yeah, tell me about that, because you weren't the leader for the restart. You had to go out there and take it. What was that like? For that you? was fun, uh, but it's good to have a, a great F-150 like we got. Uh, really special to have Farfade on here. Uh, Tim Duggar, who's really special to NASCAR, and uh, Mike Curb and Curb Records, everybody that lets us do this. And uh, it's, when, uh, it's when it means a lot. Duke and Ryan Thorson kept everything going, uh, kept everybody employed with a paycheck going through this pandemic uh, to, to hopefully put ourselves in a good, good position when we went back racing. And uh, thank you to them. Thank you to everybody that uh, that allows us to do this and just uh, uh, an awesome restart right there. A close win in Daytona, a close win here in Atlanta. Guys, he has a flair for the dramatic. Grant Infinger wins in Atlanta. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.